What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com from Ken. Your thoughts on reverse pyramid training. Is it worth it? Is reverse pyramid training worth it or is the risk of injury too high? And let's be honest, not many people warm up enough before going balls to the wall. Also, just your thoughts on this training method and what it would be best suited to. Thank you for an underrated Fat Loss Factor book. Fat Loss Factor book isn't underrated. It's been read by tens of thousands of people. A lot of people have given feedback for results. It's at FatLossFactorBook.com. My, my opinion is, is if you're doing reverse pyramid, essentially what you would do is you warm up, just don't go to failure on warm ups. For example, um, the protocol for reverse pyramid is starting at like six reps, though in eight, 10, 12, 15, instead of the, the regular pyramid, which is 15, 12, 10, eight, six. So what I would recommend is you do your warm ups. You warm up, but you don't go to failure. A standard warm up for that would be like a powerlifting warm up. You're not doing reverse pyramid. Say you're doing 315. You do 135 for two, 225 for two, uh, 185 for two, 225 for two, 265, 75 for two, then 315 for your working reps, and then you go back down in weight. So you're not doing the full pyramid, you're just simply warming up. Now, by the time I get to my workout, I'm going to show you guys a lot of cool things that I learned as an Exos trainer now, where we are going to be doing things where we're going to work the muscle and have basically prepare your muscle for the workout. So basically prepare your body for what's going to come, which will prevent injury. Um, reverse pyramids best for people looking just to change things up. I don't see it having too much of an advantage in hypertrophy. However, if you could start at the heaviest weights you can, it'll allow you to get better load. Getting better load leads to more overload. Progressive overload is how you build your muscles in the most efficient manner. So I do like reverse pyramid training. Just make sure to get warm ups, and you don't have to go to failure like you did on pyramid training to get warm ups. Just do two or three reps. Work up in weight, then get your weight, then go back down in weight for the higher reps. That's a reverse period, pyramid. That's not a game.